Hello, our most developed student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance, as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this video, I'm going to introduce the ultimate guide for mathematics for you guys who are doing your grade 11 and it will focus strictly on term 1. Just to be strict here, we are only going to look at term 1. And I want you to go through these videos for term 1 and be able to follow up throughout. And that's why I always encourage you guys, if you are subscribed, it is easier for you to follow up. So what topics are we going to cover? These are the topics that you must expect in your term 1. If all things go according to the annual term plans, number one, we're going to look at the exponents and thirds. Number two, equation and inequalities. As num number last one is trigonometry. Now, if there is any other topic which is outside this, I will encourage you, give me a comment and say, at school, we are doing totally something different. And then I can be able to look into that. All right. So this is what we're going to be focusing on. But in this particular lesson, I'm going to be uh, more uh, focused on exponents and thirds as a topic, but not uh, looking at it in full. I'm just going to do the exponent side now. Because why? Exponents, exponents, exponents. If you are not careful, they can actually trick you. So exponents is algebra that you need to be uh, well comfortable in. Let's look at a revision on a few laws of exponents, which um, always you must remember. Number one was the first law of exponents. It says if you are multiplying a to the power x times what? a to the power, let's use m because that's what is common. I'm just going to do this because you've been doing this from grade 8, 9, 10. Now I think it's always coming by natural a to the power m times a to the power n when you're multiplying you add m plus n and then a to the power m divided by a to the power n sometimes i write it as a to the power n divided by a to the power n it doesn't matter how you write it you can write it in this fashion but the thing is when you're dividing you subtract okay the other law is to say if I'm given a to the power m and then I multiply, so this is number one, two, uh, let's look at three. So when I multiply like that, it's a to the power of m times n. And number four follows suit to say if I've got a dot b and then to the power of m, this exponent is a to the power of m dot or times uh, b to the power of m. All right, so these are the uh, quick laws that you need to know, but we continue with these laws to say if I'm given 1 over a to the power m is same as still division. If I take this to the top, it will be a to the power negative m. All right, and then a few of these laws also that I want to bring to attention is uh, other laws such as a to the power of 0 n number of to the power of zero is equal to one. And what about one to the power of a? Whatever case, you still get a one. And then some of the trickier part or the extension of these laws is, for example, if they give me a x to the power negative m, this is same as the a remains on top over a to the power, I mean, x to the power like this, x to the power of m. Then if I say though 1, okay, sorry about that, but if I say ax to the power negative m, you see, that bracket means everything goes down, and then I've got a to the power x in bracket to the power of m. So that's what you need to know such. And then also some extensions of these laws, if I give you a to the power negative n, over b to the power negative n this can become if you this will go to the top to become positive and this will come to the bottom to become positive so it's b to the power n over a to the power n such things you just need to be very sensitive 
and then also if I say to you 1 over uh, a to the power negative m you see and then it's already negative but to take it to the top it will change the sign from negative to positive these are just a few um, some of these rules which I'm going to be using let's look at an activity for example it says simplify without a calculator the following expressions fully and then three marks the other one is four marks the other one is three marks all right and then I'll try to kind of prove this let's say you're given this and then they want you to simplify let me try to work it here look at this if they say I'm given let's make this a little bit bigger I'm given this and how would you simplify this now you need to be uh, sensitive take it easy take it slow no panic buttons here you just need to see what they're trying to trick you on first of all look at this 125 you need to express it in terms of exponents and then this X here they didn't put any power but you know that there is a what a default one there so you need to deal with that so let's start with 125 if you with your calculator what you do is your calculator is able to express 125 in terms of exponents so what you do you say 125 equal to and then you say shift there is this button here which will have FACT if you press it it will give you for example 125 I think it's 5 to the power of 3 so your calculator will say equal to 5 to the power of 3 so here what you'll have you will now have 5 to the power of 3 x to the power of 7 right and then over x and then you take this like this to the power 2 over 3 now first focus on if possible we can see I've got an x at the bottom and an x at top let's deal with that x meaning it's this law here that I'm using now to say uh, a to the power of m over a to the power of n with that it's a to the power of m minus n the same that is a division so it's the same thing I'm gonna apply there are you are you with me so that's what I'm gonna do and when I apply that law what it will become it will be 5 to the power of 3 uh, x uh, 7 minus 1 I say there is a hidden one 7 minus 1 then you put your bracket then you've got 2 over 3 this continues to become 5 to the power of 3 x to the power 7 minus 1 is what it's 6 but still brackets 2 over 3 which is equal to now what's the next law the next law here what does it say it says I think we've done it I give you a to the power of m I mean a b to the power of what of m equal to then this m goes inside each it will be a to the power of m b to the power of m but also if I say a to the power of m times n if there was two exponents they multiply it's m times n so in a way they are both being applied so in a way what you have is this 2 over 3 it comes here to multiply in each one of them because of the bracket all right so this will be 5 to the power of 3 like this 2 over 3 you see what's happening and then x to the power of 6 and then again okay not like that it's x to the power of 6 like this 2 over 3 it's more like you're doing that but you can leave out this step you can go directly from here to here to say this is 5 to the power of 3 times 2 over 3 remember as exponents so this 5 in a way you don't want it to look like now it's you just bring it a bit down just show that you are dealing with exponents don't write it like you're dealing with numbers and then here you'll also have x to the power of 6 times 2 over 3 just show that these are hanging on top as exponents when that's done 3 there 3 times 3 over 2 and then 3 into 6 it's 2 use a calculator here please use a calculator use a calculator just to simplify those exponents so you'll have 5 squared x2 uh, x2 times 2 
see, which is 5 squared uh, x to the power 4. Someone is arguing to say, but they say don't use without a calculator. They won't see that uh, you multiply 3 times 2 over 3. We are just verifying. Then when you simplify this, it's 5 squared is what? It's 25 x to the power of 4. Now, I said I can try to prove for you this. So what you do is, uh, you take x here, you say, for example, let me take this, you say here, let x be equal to, choose a small number, 2. So what you do is, where there is x, you put 2 on this expression. So for example, I've got a bracket fraction, 125 times where there is x, is 2 to the exponent 7. You see that? And then over at the bottom here, over 2, remember x is 2, and then you close the bracket to the exponent what? Fraction 2 over 3. See what I have? Equal to, look, I got 400. Now, when I go to my final answer, I need to get 400. Remember, it was 5 squared x to the power 4. So if I say 5 squared times x, which is 2 to the power of 4, I must also get 400. You see? So if this is maintaining my when I put x is equal to 2 here, and I also do the same here, and I say x is equal to 2. You saw here it gave me 400, on top it gave me also 400. It means my simplification is what? Is correct. That's what you need to do. Now, because of my time, this one will be done in the next lesson. Let's say next lesson. So stay tuned in the next lesson. That's where I'm going to tackle this one. But I want to quickly finish with 1.3. This one is an interesting one, as you can see. Very interesting. I'll say join me in the next lesson for 1.2. But 1.3 is also how many marks? 3 marks. It's not difficult. Now, what you needed to do, as I say, it's the laws. But this law now, you need to use uh, the first law. Remember, the first law says a to the power m times a to the power n is a to the power m plus n. But now, I want us to read it this direction. And uh, apologies, guys, in the background, my boys are just making noise, but apologies. Now, if I say to you a to the power of m plus n, now, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. You see that? It's the same law. That's what I'm going to do here. If I've got this part of 3 to the power of x, plus 1. You see what it will become? I mean 3 to the power of x plus 1, let me do it here, is equal to, just like m plus n, is 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. Do you see like what I mean when I'm saying I'm going to, uh, that's called splitting it apart. So it will be 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1 minus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of negative 1. You see that? Over 2 dot 3 to the power of x. That's the first thing that you need to know. And whenever you see either an addition or a subtraction, you must know that you are going to factorize. Right. Just know that. What are you going to factorize? Look at this. On top, I've got 3 to the power of x. 3 to the power of x. It's common. So I'm going to take it out and say, let me take out 3 to the power of x. When I'm factorizing, it's more I'm cancelling there and I'm cancelling that. So I'll be left with 3 to the power 1 and 3 to the power negative 1. Are you with me? So what, I, what I'm going to have here is 3 to the power of 1 minus 3 to the power negative 1 all over 2 dot 3 to the power of x. Right. That's how then uh, this goes out. You cancel 3 to the power of x you cancel 3 to the power of x. Um, just ignore this part here where there was uh, the cancelled one there. It was an error there. So when, when I've done that, what am I left with? I'm now left with 3 minus. Now remember, 3 to the power negative 1 is same as what? Take a calculator. It will give you 1 over 3. They say don't use a calculator. So you need to take it back, then divide it by 2. Then from here, you need to then, uh, let's solve it. Now, what is 3? I mean, 3 minus 3 to the power 1. It's more like you're saying 3 over 1 minus 1 over 3 over 2. Then, 
sometimes you don't need to uh, you can actually use a calculator because someone can tell you what is 3 minus 1 over 3 is 2 and 2 over 3 in a way 3 minus 1 over 3 they, you can use still um, a calculator here they can still not pick it up but you you write it is what um, SD not that but if you say shift you write it like this is 2 and you see 2 and 2 over 3 because what you're saying here you are saying um, common denominator here is 3 over 3 into 3 it's 1 1 times 3 is 3 minus I mean it's 3 here like this 3 minus 1 but you can use whatever you have this is 8 over 3 now 8 over 3 this over is over 2 so what you have is equal to 8 over 3 now it's divided by 2 which is 8 over 3 times 1 over 2 which is 8 over 3 I mean 8 over 3 times 2 is what it's 6 8 over 6 but here or you can cancel here 2 there 2 there it's 4 which is equal to 4 over 3 but in here I just want to emphasize this in here you can just be simple clever as I said take use a calculator take a calculator use the top don't use the calculator same time use the calculator on top it gave us 8 over 3 and then you say over 2 then use the calculator here again how to use the calculator when you take the calculator you have to be sensitive and say on top remember that's where the fraction is so you put a fraction and say 8 over 3 and then again you come down there and say over 2 and then you say 4 over 3 you know sometimes you can play it safe they can actually give you that but what you are actually doing is always know that when there is over here these two cancels the other one there must be two divisions cancels that uh, that become a 4 there so you can check the answer and do it yourself and then you get that 4 over 3 they won't penalize you so let the calculator assist you so guys we've come to the end of our lesson we're looking at this i just wanted to bring you an introduction to this but i'll bring you more of these i think i'll do two to three if not four videos using the laws of exponents and play around different questions from the exam and see how you can use these and then after that we're also going to look at sets now stay tuned i want you to subscribe because there is a next part that you don't want to miss how will you solve this if it comes in your final you don't want to miss this one thank you Thank you.